briefly, she just said thinking about starting a social skills group and how does she go about doing it? Um, counselors do those things at school, but I think it could help also online socialization groups for adult or for adolescents. So just in terms of social skills groups in general, um, check out, hey, here's a good plug. The ABA forum is tonight, it's free. Ashley Rose tonight is speaking at eight. 15 with me and the two of us are doing a talk on uh, social skills and everything else so check that out if you're not able to check that out um, her site is called mission cognition and she has a lot of really great social skills uh, materials there which are super um, we also have some on our site as well um, i think the very first thing you would do in terms of setting up a social skills group though is look for common interests and commonalities so you know if you've got two teenagers who you know have nothing in common whatsoever or one talks and one doesn't and they just it may not work um, but if you've got some teenagers who you know have some common interests or are looking for some friends um, i think that's great and you know maybe you start with just something really simple um, like hey come on in here and we'll pair you know, maybe you come in and I hate the iPad, but maybe the first time around we, you know, watch a, a few funny YouTube videos together. Um, I don't really love the fact that they're playing an app or something like that because it's not that interactive, but hey, let's do a few, you know, great things together and that's it. And that's your first social skills class. Second social skills class, you can put a little bit more demand on them. Maybe they're, you know, you talk to them about their goals and what they want to learn um, if they're verbal and can tell you that. So, hey, like, okay, so we're here, we're together. What, what do you guys want to learn in terms of social skills and um, put it back on them if they can't talk about that stuff maybe it's just wor working on things like you know turn taking or being in the same room tolerating each other um, that kind of stuff um, look to everyday speech everyday speech uh, you can do everydayspeech.com they've also got um, youtube videos on just appropriate you know, social behavior and social models. Um, maybe you watch that and then act it out and talk about it, et cetera, and practice that role playing. That could also be part of the social skills group as well. So funny because um, I'm probably the complete opposite where like when I do a social skills group, it's like very structured. <laughs> And we go in with like almost like an agenda. So I'll decide on a topic. Um, I love the social thinking materials. So I may say that this group is on um, Superflex. And so we'll be covering the Superflex content. And then I can kind of, you know, pick and choose who would benefit from that, um, depending on like where this is happening, like whether it's for kids in, in a school or for kids in the community, um, depending on their age, I kind of, you know, choose a curriculum and then bring in, you know, the kids that I think would benefit from it. Um, and then we kind of go from there and we individualize it and we have data and we make it all much more behavioral where there's a lot more BST than I think the curriculum initially describes. Um, but I kind of have that curriculum that I'll go on 